Hi, um, this is Ana Casanovas from Mallorca and I am a good friend of uh, René Svedek and as I was living for several years in Belgium I went quite often to do some very nice courses in Pantare so uh, René during this Covid uh, pandemic has asked me if I could maybe share some yoga session uh, with uh, my colleagues from the north and uh, so this is um, this is for you guys as you know in Spain we are uh, being really locked down uh, today it's a little bit longer than our third week and uh, at least we will have another three weeks to go so doing yoga it's being of an amazing help uh, throughout these days and so I hope also can help you a little bit um, to to find some balance and to ease the mind so yeah practice with me if you wish and it's very important not to hurt yourself uh, so uh, if anything that I propose during the practice um, makes your heartbeat or your um, respiration go too fast and to lose pace, uh, slow down and, and do a bit of less effort. But for the rest, I have tried to, to bring together some quite simple asanas uh, that I think everybody can, can enjoy. So I hope that's the case. Um, yeah. So we are going to uh, start. You will need, of course, a, a yoga mat, if possible, uh, that is not very... Uh, slippery and um, we are going to use a couple of uh, tools uh, one of them is going to be a belt so if you have a belt or also a scarf will work a pillow if it's important if especially if you are not able to have a straight back when you are sitting down uh, having all the time very straight back is very important so don't uh, put uh, like a tilted pelvis backwards and maybe you are gonna need a blanket I, I won't because today it's very sunny so I won't but just have it around you if, if it's necessary so sit in a comfortable cross leg position just to start bringing some intentions into the practice of today and uh, each person will have a different way to start but I always start acknowledging um, the importance of a clear vision of gaining uh, awareness of the reality as, as a place of interbeingness and uh, the importance of the heart I always try to acknowledge uh, the necessity for all of us to carry on developing the heart and as well, I always bring my hands to my belly to remind myself of this mortal body and the importance of taking care of it so that it's in the best shape as possible. So we are going to do a session to try to, especially to ground. So it's going to be a lot of earthing, uh, a lot of earth element in it. So we are going to try to start by giving a little... Um, love to our feet so you can cross one leg on top of the other and grab your toes one by one and give just a little massage especially these days where we are probably as, as you as me uh, sitting quite a lot so it's important to to awaken a little with those feet um, I find very helpful to put my fingers in between my toes and from there give my toes a good stretch and mobilize um, bone by bone uh, the little joints and opening up a little bit this metatarsal line uh, we'll be thankful for it and then you can place your foot on top of the mat and here we are gonna try to especially bring attention to the tripod so the different places in your feet that are gonna be the ones we want to 
be standing on. So just bring your attention to those specific places and the stability of your ankles so that they are not opening or closing. You can give yourself some circling with your ankle in one direction and the other or up and down, whatever you prefer. And then take your other foot. Remember all the time to have your spine very straight. Um, so we are going to do a little bit the same, just trying to uh, mobilize and massage the different parts of our foot the arch and as I was doing with the other uh, foot uh, it can be very helpful to interlace your fingers in between your toes because that gives a very nice stretch in between the metatarsals and from there giving yourself some mobilization to your feet You can bring now your foot down on the mat and try to pay an extra attention to these three places that are going to become the places where you want your weight to fall throughout the standing poses. So try to bring some attention into those three areas and as well the ankle, the ankle region so that it can be stable and slowly you can stretch your leg in front and now play around a little bit with your ankle just up and down or in circles how you wish next you are gonna place both feet on the mat and slowly you are gonna bring the whole body into a squat position bring your hands in front of the mat on the ground and allow all your weight to really rest on your on your legs to let gravity take a uh, place and now on the in breath you're gonna go onto your tiptoes and on the out breath you let all the weight drop in breath you go on your tiptoes and out breath just let everything drop Feel the weight become really heavy, in breath up, out breath down, in breath up, out breath down, all the weight on your legs, in breath up, that's the last time, raise a little bit your uh, hips all the way up and then vertebrae per vertebrae, no need to stretch your knees. To keep them bent, vertebrae per vertebrae come into Tadasana, the mountain pose, standing pose. Separate now your toes, do dorsiflexion and separation and try to land one by one those toes. And then on the in-breath, raise your heels up, out-breath, stretch your toes to the sides, one by one, landing on the ground. In breath, all the way up. Out breath on your heels, paying attention, toe by toe, landing on the ground. In breath, bring your weight up, straight back. Out breath on your heels, pay attention to your toes. In breath, up. Out breath, down. And again, your toes one by one landing on the ground. Realize now this awakening of your foot, which is gonna give you the base to work from the ground, pushing yourself from the ground, from the feet, strong legs, straight, relaxed back, relaxed shoulders. Let everything drop now towards a flexion, complete flexion. L leave your knees bent. And then we are going to go to half bended pose, Uddha Uttanasana. 
So just go down out breath and on the in breath you bring your spine a little bit up, go to 90 degrees and out breath. Just relax everything, let drop your entire spine, in breath up 90 degrees without an asana and let go completely on the out breath, in breath up to 90 degrees, belly against your, the navel against your spine and out breath, in breath come all the way up once more. Take your pelvis and open your legs in the hip uh, wide apart and go to sitting pose during the out breath, in breath up. Out breath, go to sitting pose, arms go up, your knees behind your toes, in breath up. Out breath, go really backwards so that your knees go behind your toes during sitting, in breath up, out breath down, in breath up, one more time, out breath down, and we are gonna stand into this position, Uttkatanasana, a sitting pose, so stay there, keep your breath, on a good rhythm, breath and out breath and again in breath and during the out breath just relax everything to the front in a full Uttanasana. Bring now your feet back because we are going to go into downward facing dog. For downward facing dog, put your hands on the white of your shoulders, fingers really open apart, try to be uh, exigent with this, this is a bit of tapas, the fire element, uh, really all your fingers should be sticking on the floor, your head relax and try to, you don't need to, to bring your knees straight and I'm going to now ask you to allow your downward dog to become a little bit of a dragon. So try to explore your legs, doing flexion and extension. Do your own thing. You don't need to look at the screen now. Just explore there a little bit the possibilities with your knees and your hips, with your shoulders, with your heels. Just try to unwind and relax anything that needs to be expressed. Keep your shoulders quite far away from your ears or your neck can be relaxed and you have some stability on, on your shoulders. And little by little you get into your own downward dog. I don't need you to have completely your knees straight. On the contrary, I think it's better if you can bend them just a little little bit so you're you're protecting your uh, sciaticus nerve and in that pose it's important that your navel it's against the back and on the in breath you're gonna go on the tip of your toes and you're gonna bring all the weight on top of your hands and go into a plank position out breath going to balasana baby pose in breath Go into four leg position, out breath neutral, in breath, arch in extension. Out breath, go back to downward dog. In breath, feet on your tips and like a wave, bring vertebrae per vertebrae to the front of the mat and go to a high plank pose. In breath and out breath, go to balasana, the baby pose. In breath, go on all fours, out breath, bring your spine neutral, in breath, all extended, out breath, go back to downward dog, in breath, raise your feet on your toes and vertebrae per vertebrae, go to a high plank, in breath, 
and during the out breath go to baby pose in breath back on all fours out breath go to neutral in breath stretch your back on extension and out breath go back to downward dog go up on the tip of your toes and breathe out into a high plank breathe in breathe out put your knees down and go into baby pose breathe in breathe out neutral position on all fours breathe in again stretch your back in extension breathe out go back to downward dog and stay for a little time in downward dog get acquainted with your breath now you can raise the right leg up stay stable on your back your hips especially try not to tilt your pelvis too much and here you are gonna notice maybe your shoulders want to uh, get a bit more crampy so don't let them look in between your hands and place your right foot forward now into this warrior um, we are gonna check that our hips are really facing uh, parallel to the short uh, side of the mat so you can place your hands on your hips and during the out breath you come down and during the in breath you come up out breath you come down and in breath you come up out breath you come down and now we are gonna stay into that position so make sure that you're you are not thrusting in the front your sternum and your ribs while you go into the full uh, warrior pose stay there breathe in and breathe out And now bring a little bit your left foot on the front and we are going to go to the third warrior. So again, here is very important your, your hip position must be the same, just parallel to the ground. And again, I, I, don't, I don't think it's necessary that you keep your, your knee stretched while you do this, but it is very important that your spine is not twisted and that you keep that good balance, breathe out and bring your hands to the floor and your foot and go back to downward dog and get yourself some breathing and on the next breath in you bring your left leg up and just stay there for five breaths. And on the next breath in, you're going to look in between your hands. And during the breath out, you bring your left leg in between your hands and place your right foot in the correct position for the warrior two. Again, it's very important to have your, the correct alignment of your hip towards the short side of the mat. And during the out breath, you come down, bend your knee, in breath, come up. Out breath, bend your knee, in breath, come up. Out breath, take your hips with your hands, in breath out breath and we are going to stay here for five breathing so make sure you are not thrusting your sternum and ribs but making your spine really long and stay there for five breath cycles
In the next out breath, we are gonna come with the back leg a little bit more to the front so that we can find stability in the third warrior pose. So make sure your hips are parallel to the ground and then you can stretch your arms forward and your right leg long on the air. You don't need to have your uh, knee bend uh, straight, it can be bended, it's a bit more hard, but it's more safe. So go back to downward dog. Stay there with your breathing. Try not to stretch, over stretch your dorsal region so that your heart is comfortable in the thorax and make this diagonal line between your hands and your hips. And we go again into the tip of toes and to a plank position and we lower the plank all the way to the ground. You can put your hands in front of the mat so you can rest your forehead and relax the entire body and catch your breath. the next in breath you can search a little bit further than your shoulders and bring the elbows really strongly against your body make sure your legs are completely tight your tip of the toes are facing towards the back wall and during the in breath you bring your head and your shoulders up during the out breath you let go in breath up navel tightly In breath up, out breath down, keep your navel strong against your spine, in breath up, out breath down, shoulders tight against your body, shoulders far, and now we are going to stay for five breaths, don't forget your navel on extension. Two. and breathe out and relax you can put again the hands together we are gonna now do one of my favorite asanas it's a resting asana restorative yoga so you bring your right leg the inside part of your right leg completely against the floor and the left arm goes up on top of your head and the right hand goes in a, a 90 degrees angle uh, next to your face and you turn your head to the right and just rest there and realize that all the inside parts of your leg the arms and the thorax is against this floor, this soft floor. And you can imagine like you are laying down against the bare warm ground with a beautiful landscape maybe around you. And for me it always awakens this sensation of a lot of gratitude for being an earthling. I love this sensation of all my internal parts of the body against the ground I find it very intimate so it's really bringing this earth element try to slow down your breathing Uh, 
and we can change sides so again you are gonna now look towards the left side so you bring your right arm up and your left leg up and you stay completely sur surrendered to the gravity and feeling all these very intimate areas of your body against the ground and allowing completely all the way drop feeling your heart beating against the ground how much you love that ground how much you love the earth all the beautiful moments we live into this life maybe you even feel like kissing the ground <laughs> Feel the breath against the floor. Little by little, you start to get ready to come out of the pose. So we are gonna adopt a sitting position, a cross leg position. So again here, if you feel more comfortable to have a cushion underneath your pelvis, in order to have a straight back and don't allow your uh, pelvis to tilt it's important because we are gonna stay now for some pranayama some birth uh, work so we are gonna stay for a little bit i'm gonna take out the sweater so that you can see a little bit better my belly while i explain the different pranayamas so we are gonna start with uh, the fire breathing uh, it's called Kapalavati. It's quite a, a very useful uh, breathing, especially in these times, to clean our lungs and our sinuses and all the air airways. So you get into this breath and what you are going to do is try to go into halfway your in-breath capacity and then forcefully with contraction of all your abdominal muscles to uh, take the air out. The in-breath happens automatically just from relaxing your belly and the out-breath happens forcefully. So stay there still for a little while. And this last out breath, really try to push all the air out and again in and again all the way out and hold the out breath. Apnea without air. Relax your body around it. And when you cannot hold it anymore, you have a good Breathe in and you hold and you relax your body around the in-breath. you want to change your leg positions and we are gonna do another two rounds of Kapalavati so breathe in just halfway your capacity and breathe out forcefully <laughs>
Exhale completely, empty your lungs and hold the out breath. Relax your body around the out breath. When you cannot hold it anymore, you do a big in-breath. Relax your body around the in-breath. And let go. If needed, you can change your legs one more time to the last round. So find this halfway in breath and then you start to exhale forcefully. <laughs> Exhale completely and hold the breath out. Relax your body around the out breath and hold. you cannot hold it anymore you do a big breath in and hold and relax the body around the in breath Breathe out whenever you cannot hold it anymore and just do a couple of complete cycles of breathing. So we are going to do now intermittent nostril breathing and for this you hold your left hand on Vayu Mudra so the index finger must be covered by your thumb and the right hand you place uh, on the forehead the uh, and uh, ring fin the middle finger and the index and then on the right side your thumb and on the left side your ring finger and your little finger so we are going to close the right side and breathe in through the left side then close the left side and breathe out through the right breathe in through the right Close the right and breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. Close the left, open the right and breathe out. Breathe in through the right. Close the right, open the left and breathe out through the left. And breathe in on four, two, three, four. Close, hold the breath for six, three, four, five, six. Breathe out through the right on eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in, two, three, four. Close, hold, two, three, four, five. 
six open left breathe out three four five six seven eight breathe in four left one two three four hold two three four five six open right uh, le let go three four five six seven eight breathe in right one two three four close both hold two three four five six left open exhale two three four five six seven eight breathe in four two three four hold six three four five six exhale right two three four five six seven eight inhale right three four hold both two three four five six exhale left two three four five six seven eight inhale left one two three four hold two three four five six exhale right two three four five six seven eight inhale right one two three four hold two three four five six exhale left one two three four five six seven eight inhale left one two three four hold one two three four five six exhale right one two three four five six seven eight put your right hand on vayu mudra and realize the experience of the control of the breath the air element you can relax now and stretch a little bit your legs in front of you and one more time we are gonna go into this cross leg position make sure your spine is very straight you bring your left hand on your side on the mat or on the ground and during the out breath you stretch your right arm up and breathe in come back to center breathe out go on side bending all the way to the left side breathe in come back to center breathe out drop your weight on top of your left arm breathe in come back to center one more time drop all the way on the side the elbow and the ear on the same line and stay there breathe slowly and on the next breath in come back to center drop your run the right hand and put it on the ground and on the out breath drop all the way on the side with your left arm up breathe in come to center breathe out go on side bending all the way to the left side to the right side breathe out to the right breathe in come back to center breathe out go all the way to the right breathe in come back to center breathe out to the right and stay there elbow and ear on the same line 
feel the stretch on the side of your body and on the next breath in you come back to center and relax put now your right hand on your left uh, knee and during the out breath turn and look around to the left breath in towards the center again breathe out turn around and look backwards on the left side breath in back to center breathe out turn around look to the left very important have your back very straight like really trying to grow your head towards the sky try to feel that your hips and your thorax are in the same line that you are not putting any side shifts on your spine and on that last breath you're gonna stay there for two or three breaths feeling the stretch in rotation especially on the thoracic spine and during the next in breath you come back to center you can change your cross legs and now you put your right hand on the back and your left hand on your right knee and during the out breath you turn around and during the in breath you come back a little bit to the center and out breath look towards the right in breath come to center out breath look towards the right and in breath come back to center make sure again that the whole spine is very long going towards the sky and that there are no side shifts and one more time and you stay there now for two or three breath cycles and during the next in breath you come back to center let your whole spine go to the ground and release your legs up bended knees and go with all your arms as well very relaxed just try to feel this inverted pose it's very beneficial for circulation of your extremities completely relaxed try to feel the pair structures against the floor your ilia your shoulder blades your temporals your jaw try to find the way of ease in these pair structures and try to feel them really relaxing and to the ground then make some strength with your belly and come with the same position up and stay there if you cannot stay there you can just bend a little bit your knees but otherwise just try to mimic the same position that you had completely relaxed on the floor now here strengthening your abdominal muscles and go back down and again really try to find the most relaxed position for your arms for your hands for your knees for your jaw for your tem temporals try to feel all these pair structures finding a good balance point between all of them synchronizing and now make some strength and go forward strong abdominal muscles your navel deep inside your belly the same attitude of relaxation eyes relax maybe even a little smile hands relax legs relax just trying to feel the strength in your belly and come down and one more time you have another chance to find this good balance point between all the pair structures 
your hips, your shoulder blades, your jaws, your temporals. Try to give them good rest. And keep those strongly while we do five more breaths into this strong abdominal asana. And relax. You can hold your knees and now feel the midline. Just feel your spine against the floor. And you can balance yourself just back and forth until you come into a sitting position. Feeling all that spine from occiput to sacrum. You can put now the sole of your feet against each other and open those hips just let them hang and we are going to bring the right hand uh, on top of the head and the left one on the back of the spine and you take the belt in between both hands so we are going to give there a little stretch and just by flexing a little bit your your spine just on the breath out just let drop all your head and your spine into flexion in between your legs and breathe in come back forward uh, to the center breathe out relax forward come up breathe in breathe out one more time feel the stretch in between your shoulder blades but don't hurt yourself and last time Beautiful. Okay, we change hands. Just same belt, but now the left hand goes up and the right hand goes on the back of your of your spine. So you find the the place where the belt is tight and but not too painful. You're not stretching too much. You stretch when you go on the forward bending during the out breath. In breath up. Out, breath down, in breath up, out, breath down, in breath up, and out, feel the stretch between your shoulders, and out, breathe in, come up, and you can let go the belt and just bring your hands in front of the mat and drop the weight in between your legs try to relax the knees and really do let, let gravity do its work and you carry on with your awareness on the breath trying to let go And breathe in and you come on a cross leg position for the last breathing exercise bring your hearts in a namaskara mudra breathe in breathe out breathe in turn your wrists against your body so your fingers point towards you interlace your fingers breathe out stretch your elbows relax your shoulders breathe in Bring your spine long, arms up, face, palms facing the sky, breathe out, hands into your head, breathe in, stretch up, breathe out, open your arms and bring them together. The little finger and the thumb finger come together and you offer during the out breath uh, like a lotus flower, come back to the center. Breathe in, bring fingers towards the heart, interlace your fingers, breathe out, stretch your back arched, breathe in, hands palm towards the sky, breathe out, you come with your hands towards the side and the little finger and the thumb finger, breathe out, breathe in, 
you open this lotus flower, breathe out Namaskara Mudra. Breathe in, fingers pointing towards your heart. Breathe out, interlace your fingers, stretch your elbows, stretch the back of your spine. Breathe in, raise up, palms facing the sky. Breathe out, hands to the head. Breathe in, back to the sky. Breathe out, open your arms and bring them together, the little finger and the thumb. Really offer that flower during the in-breath and out breath bring the hands together in the heart breathe in fingers towards your heart breathe out interlace your fingers stretch your elbows stretch your spine breathe in face everything palms looking to the sky breathe out hands to the head breathe in stretch back up breathe out fingers to the sides and bring little finger and thumb finger and really offer that flower, beautiful flower opening. And breathe out, hands to the chest. Breathe in, turn again, fingers towards your heart. Breathe out, stretch, interlace your fingers. And breathe in, stretch your back long, hands to the sky, breathe out, hands to the head. Breathe in, hands back to the sky, breathe out, bring your fingers together in front and really offer that flower, like this practice that you are offering, and breathe out, hands to the heart. You can relax your hands on top of your knees. And relax earth air space around you feel at home the body in its natural state relax and alert speech in its natural state attending to the flow of breath the mind in its natural state letting thoughts pass without attachment Open your awareness to the space, to the horizon. You and the sea around you. Bring the hands to the third eye. May I get a clear vision of reality and may my decisions be wise. Bring your hands to the heart. May I develop the heart and incarnate the interbeingness, compassion, loving kindness. Bring your hands to the belly and may I enjoy stay in the present moment. Acknowledge this breath is unique and will not come back. Bring the hands on the ground and bow with gratitude for all your teachers from the past and the present. May all the teachers be well. Well, thank you for your practice today. I hope it served you well. And now I will just let you lay down in Shavasana at your own time. I won't woke you up, so just take your time. <laughs>